Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro. Today, I'm going to be comparing iOS 1.0 to iOS 18.0, showing you guys what's changed in the last 17 years. So let's get started. All right, guys, so you can see I have iOS 1.0 running on my original iPhone here, 1.0 and 18.0. So basically, just downgrading this phone to 1.0 was very hard to do. First, I had to go to 1.1.4, then to 1.0. It actually took me eight years to downgrade this phone back to 1.0 using only a MacBook in OS X. All the feature that we got used to today does not exist on 1.0. For example, pages. We cannot go between pages. It just stayed. No moving applications. We cannot move apps, no spotlight search, no control center, no notification center, no screenshots. There is no extra way to interact with our device. And the camera was just a basic camera. All I did was take a picture and show them. That was all. No recording, no all the other cool stuff. It was also some of the more basic things that does not work in 1.0. For example, saving a picture from Safari. On iOS 18, when we do that, we have save photo. On 1.0, when we do that, we just get a link preview. It also did have YouTube pre-installed, which is cool. I remember using this back when I was a kid in the early 2000s. I remember this. And I remember the day Apple removed it. The calculator was also basic. It was just a basic calculator, and that was it. But we could not, in 1.0, we could not delete mistakes. We had to clear it out and do it all over again. No scientific calculator either, just a basic calculator. It had the blue background. I first heard about the iPhone in 2009. I had just come up from elementary school and I saw my dad come in with two iPhone bags. Went to see what it was. It was the iPhone 3G. So my first system was 2.2.1. So I never got to experience this way back in the day. In settings, you can see that in general, iOS 1.0, we just had one page instead of a scrolling of other options like we have today. Also, in keyboard, we did not have international language or keyboard support, just English in the United States, and that was it. Messages app actually labels it so you can see you're clicking on the messages app. My favorite part of iOS 1.0 is the iPod's cover flow. One of the, my favorite features I used to use a lot when I was young. See, on iOS 18, we had this list scrolling instead of cover flow. Cover flow was removed in 8.4. I remember the day it happened. All right, so that's iOS 1.0. There's really not much to show you here. But before I go, I want to show you guys the very first passcode bypass on 1.0. So to do this, you go to emergency call. While holding the power button, let's type 112, call, cancel, call failed. There we go. Now I'm in the phone app. I can literally do anything here. See, keypad, contacts. I can go in Safari. I can literally do anything I want, including maps, pretty much anything. So that's iOS 1.0 compared to iOS 18 today. So iOS 1.0 is to the very bare bone operating system. There's really not much to show you or use. So that's pretty much it for this video. If I did video, give it a thumbs up my video. Peace out.